We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. What's going on adventurers? We are currently at the Spring Hill Cemetery in Brooksville, Florida. We're here today because this cemetery has been documented with having very high paranormal activity. So we just wanted to visit. Excuse my voice, I have some allergies going on today. So we're gonna just go around. We have the K2 meter. I can almost guarantee you we're gonna get some activity today. Shout out to Patty and Heather from GT and Paranormal for helping us find this place because <laughs> it's a bit tough to find so thanks guys check it out you guys look how many dragonflies are here they're just like in swarms i've never seen this many in one place which if you guys don't know dragonflies and butterflies and cardinals are very representative of the spirit world so this is pretty amazing like we pulled up and they were just all like right here What's up, guys? It's lighting up over here. Oh my gosh. I just turned around. Look at that. So, guys, this cemetery has a very dark history. There were actually slaves that were hung here, unfortunately, which is a terrible, terrible backstory. But one of the reasons that this place is so haunted, there are, I don't want to call it rumors because I think it is documented, but apparently there was a KKK slaughterhouse back in these woods here behind the fence. And I don't know that it's been found, but I do know that there are some people that are looking for it. I feel here a little bit like a different energy. I feel it like in my, you know. Okay. Yeah, you know, like a little tingly. Tingly. It's over here. Somewhere. Yeah, I feel something feel over it here. Change. They say that if you're here at dusk, you can actually see someone hanging from the trees. I'm not sure which tree that is either, but. Wow, it's, it's, okay, so over there it's completely still. There's no movement. And right here there's so much wind blowing through here. Look at the, look at the moss blowing up here, guys. So like right here it's really windy. And then over. Where's the flag? Oh yeah, yeah. There's like, there's a flag that's just barely moving down there. You guys can see that. So I'm just gonna film around, guys, and please let us know if you see anything. Lisa's gonna keep walking around with the K2 meter here. Hopefully we'll pick something up and might just see if anybody will talk to the camera. Does anyone want to communicate with us? You can go ahead and speak right into our camera. Oh, it's awful. This is all broken. Wind and rain really got to it. Seriously heard something in the woods back there. And I just heard it again. Seems like it was coming from over here. Does anyone want to communicate with us? heard you a couple minutes ago heard some footsteps this is where I was hearing the footsteps guys so we're gonna see anyone want to light up the meter oh. it wasn't my meter but that was a good one
I'm hearing something back here. Did you hear that? Anyone back here that wants to communicate? It's awful windy. Yeah, and it's weird because it's surrounded by trees. It doesn't make any sense at all. Wow, is this a grave site too? What is this? That's awful. It's all broken apart. That's sad. I'm not sure where it is because I feel like I'm stepping on it. It looks like it had a nice stamped design on it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. These dragonflies are following us, guys. Look at them. It's crazy. They're. Are you guys trying to tell us something? Just heard something back that way. Some really old headstones over here. Just so windy here. This is crazy. This one looks like it's sinking down into the ground. I think it's cool how they use them as planters sometimes or to put nice things in, on top of them. That's a cool idea. It's really pretty. This is going to sound a little weird and ridiculous. I can actually smell back there rotting flesh. I don't know if it may be an animal in the woods, I hope. Wow. This one has been here for quite a while. I don't know what happened over here, but this is a terrible mess. Look at that. This looks like a junk hole. Looks like some things blew over, but man, you know these um <clears throat> these limbs fell down and made a a real mess. I don't know where the attendants are here. Like somebody needs to be cleaning this up. You pay for that, you know, when you pay for a burial plot, paying for the maintenance. You know, just to, to keep it cleaned up and mowed. There's some of the debris over there. So guys, hopefully we were able to catch something. I know it was a short and sweet visit. But you know, if there's activity out here, it doesn't really take too long to catch it. And I'm telling you right now, there was a crazy wind blowing in the back and now I hardly feel even a slight breeze. So you can see, like if you, oh, now what? <laughs> there it goes. I just got one. So I'm, I'm just saying, usually that's a sign too, that something's happening around you. You just have to pay attention to everything, all of your surroundings. They will speak to you. All right, guys, so we are headed out of Spring Hill Cemetery. All right, guys, so it was nice to finally make it here to Spring Hill Cemetery. I was super impressed about the uh, dragonflies. That was pretty phenomenal. Um, something that we have never experienced before. Not in swarms, not like that. We'll see random ones, and a lot of times I'll think it's a loved one. It's like everyone came to greet us. So if they didn't speak to us through our camera or the K2 meter, 
I feel like they spoke to us that way. So that's cool because dragonflies are very celestial, kind of like angels. Pretty cool experience today. Hopefully, like I said, next time we'll have more time to uh, spend here. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you want us to come back next time we're here, which will probably be in two months. So let us know, guys. I hope you enjoy the haunted videos. Uh, leave us some feedback. We appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell. We mostly do travel vlogs, but you know, we've been getting more into the haunted videos. We do visit Gettysburg quite a bit and we have been to Antietam and we're planning to go back within probably the next couple of weeks. So let us know, give us some feedback. Let us know what you like most. Uh, hopefully you like all of our content. We try to mix it up a little bit. If you guys want to communicate with us, you can go ahead and light it all the way up to red. You can communicate with us through our camera and through the K2 meter, but you are not allowed to follow us home. We are protected. Oh, you're going to talk to me for that Whoa. one. Oh. Wow. You're not allowed to follow people home. We'll come visit you, but those are the rules. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. After they turned off your camera. <laughs> they were mad because we were leaving. Maybe. Oh. Right. Oh, is that what happened? You were mad because we were leaving. Yeah, say it again. You were mad because we were leaving? can't stay if you're not just communicating all right light up again if you want us to come back to visit you i know it takes a lot of energy yeah that's true. oh okay yeah we will then yeah we will be back i will say yes and if you can i know it takes a lot of energy say something into the camera please if you can say hello we'll turn off the engine in a minute like Say hello to the camera, please. And if there's anything else that you would like to say to us, please say it into the camera. We'll be able to hear you. All right. Thank you so much for communicating with us. We got to get going now. Something down there. Jump on it. Oh. Is there any way you can take it all the way to red for me? Please light it up to red. We hope you guys had a good time with us today. We had a good time. And we'll see you on our next Raptor adventure.